Hey lovelies, it is Susie Ashworth here, founder of the Baby Business School and the Calm Birth School. I'm being an absolute lunatic and I'm doing this live. I wanted to come on really, really quickly, even though uh, I have a crazy baby next to me and she is everywhere, so this is probably a very bad idea, but I just had to come on because it's um, um, obviously an interesting day today with the election results and... Um, um, Last night, no, nope, you can't have my phone dying. Last night, I um, um, I stayed up very, very late. Oh, hey, Tara. I don't know why I can't see people. Um, I stayed up very, very late to watch the election. I was kind of glued to it to see what was going to, um, what was going to happen, what was going to transpire. And I think I went to bed like at half twelve, but then I couldn't sleep. I was still really hyped up, so I was watching. Um, um, so I was watching the live feed on my phone. The wonders of modern technology. And anyway, I don't think I went to bed until about half past one. So the impact of that is me staying in bed this morning. I had a lay-in, which some people will say is really good. I don't think I got out of bed. I woke up at six o'clock, again, straight on the phone to see what had happened. And then I didn't get out of bed until like 7.30 to do the breakfast and stuff. Um, um, and... The impact of that has been, this morning, I have been really, really crap. I have been a pretty crap mum. So, hey, Ashley. Um, um, I uh, kind of left things, didn't get out of the shower till like 20 past eight, and then had to rush Caesar because we couldn't find his bag. That the way, cheeky monkey. We had to rush Caesar so we couldn't find his bag, and then I was sure as Coco was getting into the car because... What it means is if I get up at 7.30, I don't have no time to go for a walk. I have no time to do any meditation. I have no time to do any journaling. I don't have any time. I do have time to do affirming, but you're kind of on it. You're in reaction mode immediately. And the price that I... You can't have that, sweetie. The price I have paid for staying up late and watching the election, I know that some people are going to be like, well, look, it's okay to have a late night every now and again, and it's okay to get up at 7.30. It's not the end of the world. And... It's not, except I that me time at the start of the day is my opportunity to press the reset button and my opportunity to set my intention for how I want to be and how I want to show up with my kids, with myself, with my husband. And I denied myself the opportunity of doing that. And whilst obviously... It's like nine o'clock in the morning, so it's not the end of the day by any stretch of the imagination. I, you know, today, the price I've paid is that I haven't been as good a mum as what I would want to be today, because this is my day off. Um, so I just want to, yeah, I want to ask you, every time you compromise on doing the things that you need to do for you, so your self-care, your self-nourishment... Um, uh, just showing up for yourself, creating space and time for yourself. Hey, Mimi, what price are you paying? Because there is always a price to pay. And, you know, my kids and me are suffering because I chose to go to bed late. And, yeah, I'm going to be hopping off any second, Mimi, but it's a short one, so you can watch the replay. Um, um, you know, that's the price. So you will be paying a price by not doing the things that you know you need to do for you. So I encourage you to not kind of put that under the carpet. Really think about what it's costing you to not do what you need to do and start putting your needs and wants first so that everybody benefits from that. Morning. <laughs> Why am I coming up? That must be Tara. You're on my Facebook. Right, my lovely. Mwah, 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 mwah. Au revoir, and I will see you maybe over the weekend or maybe on Monday. All right, take it easy. Have a good one.